Hey guys, hello and welcome to Zen Innovations. And today I was playing with this uh, 9M LTE module, as you can see over here. And I thought that, well, why not uh, make for you guys a voltage versus amperage chart? So basically today what we are going to do is we are going to provide a variable voltage using this DC to DC buck converter to this uh, 9A uh, LTE. And that voltage can be seen over here on the voltmeter. And at particular voltages, for example, 3 volts, 5 volts, 12 volts, what kind of amperage does this Pelti module draw? That we are going to see on this amp meter. And the wiring over here is a pretty simple. So I'm using a 24 volt battery bank. These are two 12 volt batteries in series. The power goes to this uh, DC to DC module and it can be adjusted over here using these uh, trim ports, something like this. And if you want to buy this uh, DC to DC module or this Pelti or any of these meters, then buying links will be waiting for you in a description below. And for the measurement, I am using uh, one voltmeter so this will show us the voltage and this will show us the amperage and if you are keen to understand all of this mess all of this wiring then make sure to check out this particular video over here in the testing video of a 6 amp module so in the testing video of this module i have explained in a very well detail what kind of this wiring means so you can go and check out those videos over here and by the way, I also keep playing with other PLTAs. So I have 6 amp, I have 15 amp. All of these videos can be found in the description below. And here, uh, let me show you the setup for the PLTA module. So this is a 9 amp PLTA. And this is uh, mounted on an Intel CPU heatsink. You can see it's a pretty beefy heatsink. And the heatsink is being cooled by this fan. And the fan is also powered using this module. So let's turn it on. And here the fan spinning. And this little block is just there to create a little bit of space so that the fan can suck in the air. Otherwise this uh, little block does not have any other role. And for the heat load I am just going to use a small dummy heat sink. So the ambient air that will be our heat load, nothing else. So this is how the setup looks guys. I suggest you hit that nice little like button down below and let's begin today's experiment. Welcome back guys and today we are going to start with 3 volts so you can see that this voltmeter is showing 3 volts and this is the amp meter and the amp meter output lead is over here and as soon as I connect this uh, Peltier positive to this output of the amp meter you should start getting a reading so let's check the 3 volts reading first and over here we can see so it starts at 1.7 amps and it slowly goes down so I think I can say that yeah one and a half amps is what this uh, 9 amp LTA takes at 3 volts so somewhere around one and a half. Let's go to the next step and the next step uh, I guess would be 5 volts which is the next logical step and even the USB output is 5 volts so this is another uh, nice little standard to use in one of your projects. All right. That's neat. So 2.75 amps and coming down. Can anyone let me know in comment section below why does this happen? So why does the amp drop once we start powering the PLT? The correct answer will be pinned in the comments. So I'll say 2.5 amps is what it takes at uh, 5 volts. Let me fix the focus over here so it will stop hunting. So 2.5 amps over there. And guys, I don't actually want to keep this uh, continuous because what will happen is that the hot side heat sink will get hot and the performance of PLTA will degrade. So next, let's go to the next step. What should that be? I'll say I guess uh, 6 volt is another neat little standard. So 6 volts and let's power it on. That is 3.3 .3 amps and coming down 3.2. Okay. And it stabilizes somewhere around 3.1 amps at 6 volts. So if you are using a 6 volt battery in one of your projects, this is what you get with a 9 amp PLT module. So after that, I guess, what should be the next step guys? These trim ports are very fiddly. So let's go to, I'll say, how about 9 volts? So 9 volt is another nice little standard to use. Let's bring it down a little bit. Okay, let's hit the Peltier with the power and that's a full 5 amps and it started coming down. So 4.6 amps. 
and guys still if you haven't guessed it what happens is that once this uh, temperature difference becomes uh, evident for example the hot side heating gets hot the amperage consumption of Peltier comes down so that was your answer so as we can see it started with 5 amps but it is now dropping to somewhere around 4.4 amps and over a course of time it is going to stabilize somewhere around I can see 4.4 amps or 4.3 amps it also depends on how good uh, of a heat sink you have so this cold side heat sink is now getting really cold nice and cold right let's go to the next logical step so I'll go to 10 volts now and the 10 volt consumption is again 5 amps and it started coming down where will it settle I say 5 amps is what we can say let's go to the 11 volt setting so 11 I am going to make the readings closer in this range because this is where I guess the sweet spot would be for any of your projects so 11 volts over here let's check it it started with 5.8 amps and it is coming down to 5.4 yeah and now this is very cold that is why it is coming down if this heat sink would be larger then I will say that it will stand at 5.5 amps right let's go higher so here is the star of the show 12 volts another very standard voltage and here it started with full 6.3 amps and guys this is one of the ways uh, in which you can judge the quality of your Peltiers because those cheap Peltiers will not draw enough amps they are advertised as 6 amps, 9 amps, 15 amps they don't draw enough current and those are the fake Peltiers so once again at 12 volts it starts at full 6.4 amps and it comes down to 6 amps and now this thing is really really cold yeah pretty cold and even this thing is getting hot let's continue with the experiment so let's go with 13 volts now and 13 volts is what uh, I guess would be a really good full charged uh, lead acid battery so if you're trying to run something from a car battery or a, a kind of UPS battery then this is the voltage which you might have on a full charge right oh full 7 amps and then coming down to 6.5 shall we say 6.3 amps is it right let's go higher and I'm going to look for 14.4 volts which is the end of charge voltage for say your solar or inverter battery so 14.4 is what we are going to aim for let's connect it so we can see 14.4 volts over here and it started with 7 amps and it is dropping down and with better cooling on the hot side say if you had a water block over here this thing would have stood at 7 amps so 6.9 or 6.8 amps at 14.4 volts and let's go to the absolute maximum that this Peltier can take and the Peltiers are rated at a maximum of somewhere around 15 or 15 and a half volts so 15 volts is what I'm going to do for the maximum so there's 15 volts and what would be your guess guys let me know in comments below all right here we go three two one and it started with full 8 amps and then coming down yeah so this is a 9 amp Peltier this is sold as a 9 amp and it started with 8 amps at 15 volts I, I'll say that this is not a bad Peltier at all so pretty good if uh, this thing would be uh, beefier this would be a water block a uh, higher heat load over here on the cold side we would have seen somewhere around 8.5 to 9 amps on this let's test once again so as we can see it starts at 8 amps and it drops because this thing instantly becomes very cold and once this thing becomes cold the amps come down so that was it for this uh, neat little experiment guys i hope you liked it hit that like button down below share the experiment around with your friends take care and have a nice day guys for today's extra content what i've done is i've let these heat sinks cool down and i disconnected the peltier for a while and now both of these heat sinks the hot and the cold side are down to ambient temperatures and both of them are somewhere around 26 degrees celsius and let's see if we can get eight and a half amps at 15 volts on this peltier in this test are you guys ready let's do it three two one wow that's 8.4 amps very nice so that is the sign of a good quality Peltier.
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो गाइज